Today I am still going to be making a video about the Helix folding bike, but today is going to be a little bit different. If you watched my last video, you may notice that I compared the Helix bike to a Daehan K3. Well today I'm going to be doing another comparison, only with a different bike. So today I'm going to be comparing the Helix bike with a marvel in the bike industry. Alright, today I'm going to be comparing the Helix folding bike with this, a Brompton M3L folding bike. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to be doing a comparison, detail by detail, feature by feature, on these two bikes. And now, let's move on to the comparison. The first thing that comes to mind when having a folding bike is of course the size, in which the Helix is bigger in every single way, folded or unfolded. The frame size is bigger than the Brompton and especially the wheels, which the, the Helix has 24-inch wheels and the Brompton has 16-inch wheels. Next up is the way it folds. I mean, both the Helix and the Brompton, they fold in a very similar way, especially the rear wheels. The rear wheels fold in, but the difference is, in the Helix, the rear wheels fold to the side of the frame, while in the Brompton, the rear wheels fold in to under the frame. And then the other difference is the front wheels. The front wheels in the Helix, they fold inwards, just like the rear wheels. While in the Brompton, it folds in a swinging sideways manner. Then there is the material of the frame. The Helix frame is made of titanium, while the Brompton is made out of something called chromoly, which is a lot more heavier than titanium. Which means even though the Brompton is smaller in size, it is a lot more heavier than the Helix. And then there is the number of speeds. The Helix has 10 speeds, while the Brompton only has 3. But the Helix uses a 10-speed derailleur. The Brompton, on the other hand, uses a 3-speed internal hub. Another difference in the wheels, I mean, I already said about the size, that the Helix has 24-inch wheels and the Brompton has 16-inch wheels. The other difference is the brakes. The Helix uses brake discs, while the Brompton uses these standard V-brakes. But similarities also come when folding the bike. Not only is it similar when the rear wheels fold in, it is also similar in the locking mechanisms, in which in both the Helix and the Brompton folding bike, there is a screw in which you need to twist until it is locked in place to hold the handlebars and the front wheels. But when it comes to variants and accessories, I've got to put Brompton for the win because the amount of variants in the Helix, only three. There's the single speed, 10 speed derailleur, and the 11 speed hub. Well, for the Brompton, there's the M3L, M6L, Brompton Lite, the Brompton Electric, and special editions like the Chapter 3 and the Black Edition. And when ordering a Brompton straight from the factory brand new, you get to commission your very own Brompton, which means you can customize it to your own personal preference. So you can choose the color that you want, the color of the logo, and you can choose from a wide variety of accessories. For example, the type of tires in which we have Schwalbe tires. You get to choose the lights, the reflectors, and even the seats. You get to choose from a standard seat or a Brooks leather seat, which is the one that we have here. And then you can also choose the type of handlebars. There is the S-type handlebar, the M-type handlebar, and the H-type handlebar, in which we have the M-type. You also get the choice to have a rear rack just above the rear wheel, and a little bag to carry your stuff, in which you can put in the front over here. And when the time comes that you may have a flat tire or an emergency, the Brompton folding bike comes with a little pump located next to the rear wheel. And then the advantage of the Brompton compared to the Helix is that since the Brompton is smaller, it can fit in a lot more areas than the Helix because it's more compact. 
which is what a folding bike is supposed to be. But that doesn't mean the Helix loses its dignity as a folding bike compared to the Brompton. Because there are still also advantages of the Helix to the Brompton. One way is that it's lighter, which means it's easier to carry. And then the wheels are bigger, which means it is a little bit more comfortable to ride on. But in terms of riding experience, I would say they're both similar because they're both really comfortable to ride on and it's really nice as well along with the handling and stuff. Anyways, that is my comparison between the Brompton folding bike and the Helix folding bike. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.